Well, the Business Council of Australia is about to launch an attack on the Prime Minister and his government, claiming that CEOs are hesitant to hire and now want to invest overseas because of Labor's industrial legislation and taxes. Joining us live now, the Chief Investment Officer at The Motley Fool, Scott Phillips. Always good to chat, Scott. So there has been uh, quite a bit of criticism that's come in for the BCA late, saying, well, what took you so long? Now it's about to launch fire. And this comes off the back of BHP, which is very unimpressed with the government at the moment. I mean, where do you see all of this heading? And does the B BCA have a point here? M remember, it represents some of the uh, country's biggest companies. Yeah, Pete, good morning. That's a really nice summary. Look, we've got to re remember there's a bit of self-interest here and a bit of policy interest, and sometimes they do overlap, sometimes they don't. Uh, the good news, I suppose, is despite all that, we still managed to add 60,000 jobs to the economy last month. So there is no dearth of hiring overall. The big question is how long that lasts, what else we could be doing to grow the economy, particularly when it comes to productivity. And that is the big one for me, mate. Whether they, you know, again, unemployment's pretty low. We could always do with more jobs. Uh, the economy is struggling, but we've still got plenty of people in work. The real question is, will they continue to invest in the country, in capital works and, of course, in jobs? I think the risk is that the government overstretches. You know, we've got a 700-page piece of legislation about same work, same pay, for example. Um, you've got to wonder how workable that is. The same with mm. the right to disconnect. They're, they're worthy goals. They're worthy aims. The approach is probably in the right direction. Uh, but conceptually, if you don't deliver growth to the economy and productivity, then yeah. perhaps we'll go backwards while trying to go forwards. Well, it's interesting. Those comments from BHP were I found really fascinating last week when they said basically, hey, why are you going to increase our taxes or whatever? We've basically paid for half the country's hospitals. <laughs> anyway, uh, on to airfares. The Coalition has mm. taken aim at Labor over airline inaction. So airfares have jumped up roughly 13% following Rex's collapse. So they're certainly seizing on someone else's demise. Yeah, incredible, isn't it? You think about the collapse of Rex. Obviously, still, you know, the regional flights that were supported separately, but the trunk, so-called trunk routes, the Sydney, Melbourne, Canberra routes in particular, uh, Rex simply pulled out of those. And in the couple of months since that happened, those FS have gone up, as you said, almost 13%. Now, mm. correlation, causation, anyone's guess. Sometimes the most likely explanation is the right answer. Uh, when you've got three competitors in an airline or in a, in a, in a route and you go down to two, uh, particularly if there's a reduction in capacity, you should expect prices to go up. That's exactly yeah, what's more happened flights. now. More flights. Right, exactly. Do. Now, I don't yeah. know what the government should do. We don't own a national airline. I'm not sure they should be forcing anyone to do anything. But there is a real challenge around competition policy, particularly in the airlines. They're going to have to do something about it, I think. Uh, flights were already expensive, by the way. It wasn't like they were super cheap when Rex was there. But it's a little bit less expensive than they are now. Mm. Uh, they're still pretty expensive to fly around the country. All right, quick one. CBA, going AI. This is incredible, mate. So they're talking about replacing a whole lot of call centre jobs in particular with AI. Uh, Templar Webster in the last month or so announced they saved $4 million bucks out of a $13 million profit using AI for customer service. Whether CBA overreaches here is an open question, but don't think it can't go away. OK. Scott Phillips, always good to chat. We'll talk to you soon.